some people like to deep clean every Saturday morning. I prefer to spend a few minutes every day keeping things fresh with Lysol. Lysol's brand new day disinfecting wipes conveniently tackle surfaces, including remotes, tablets, and smartphones, killing 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria with a fragrance that feels like a tropical getaway for your senses. <sighs> Don't just clean, Lysol clean. Warning! This podcast is for mature audiences only. If you are under 18, please leave now. That goes for you as well, Karen. We are not professionals, so don't take our advice for shit. So just sit back and enjoy our kinky adventures. And welcome back, you kinky fuckers, to Bang Bang Pineapple Gang. That's right, Bang Bang Pineapple Gang, the sexy lifestyle podcast coming in your ears via podcast land, whether it be Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon, and also on the YouTubes. I am your host. My name is Jay. And I'm the sexy V. Mm, the super sexy V. And you have your titties out. Sure do. But you didn't trip me up on Not take two of this, this podcast. <laughs> no, I really fucked you up the first time. Yeah, we are having to re-record this episode because uh, our paranormal activity in this house turn off my fucking computer in the middle of recording this episode yeah we were <laughs> you know just talking and you got distracted and i heard this noise yeah they couldn't were, pinpoint what it was or where it came from that was coming out of the living room and then all of a sudden your computer just shut off and the file it got saved but it's like corrupted so yeah we had to very it. very odd things happening here at the bang bang household yeah we'll see uh, if take two is we are being stuck down <laughs> by the gods for talking dirty <laughs> dirty to the masses well they're kind of late because we've been doing it for a long time <laughs> i know so. i think this might be episode 70 60 yeah no no it's episode something 60 <laughs> <laughs> Might be 60. I think we're in the 60s. I don't know. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, today we have your sexy lifestyle podcast. And uh, where else can you find Bang Bang Pineapple Gang? So you can check us out on FullSwapRadio.com, which is a radio station that is lifestyle friendly. And they play all kinds of podcasts. Um, so check ours out Monday, 7.30 a.m., Saturday, 10 a.m. Central Time. Or you could just listen whenever and find some new podcasts to enjoy. Uh, you can find us on Instagram and TikTok under Bang Bang Pineapple Gang Pod 2.0. Um, we are on Twitter as well, or X, BB Pineapple G. Um, and also on Instagram has a link tree for everything we talk about here, anything we've maybe talked about in past shows. And there's also a link for the Swinger Society Discord page. Yeah, Swinger Society Discord, home of over 32,000 swingers. That's a lot Go of Go on there and talk to some swingers in your area. Talk to swingers around the world. And uh, get uh, your, your kink on with yep. some, some like-minded folks out there at Swinger Society Discord. Uh, what else can you find on that link tree? You can also find a link uh, for fundies. Uh, they have fetish attire on Etsy, and that's where I've uh, got some new panties and my cum slut shirt. Yeah, and you can get stuff, uh, what do you, what do you how do you call it? Customized. Yep. <laughs> and, and so if you, wanna, if you want you know, your name on something. Yeah, or whatever you're saying some panties or, or whatever. Yeah, you can go and uh, place an order and, um, yeah, just get that sent right to you. Very easy. Yep. There's also a link for funplaystays.com for the Rockford, Illinois Red Room Airbnb. And we've stayed there. Yeah. Awesome fucking place. Very awesome place. Can't wait to go again. Yeah, definitely want to go again. I uh, love the Red Room that they uh, converted from the garage. Lots of space to play around and yeah. have lots Fully of Fully stocked fun. Red Room. Yep. Whips and chains and all the fun stuff that you can think of. You know it. Basically, it's in that room. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. A little bit of everything there. So yeah, You can find that link there. You can also find a link for Cassidy.com, K-A-S-I-D-I-E.com, and you can get a free 30 days at Cassidy, which is like a swinger website. You can go and talk to like-minded swingers. Yep. Find them in your area to go and 
book. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> hey, and what else can you find on that link tree? Um, so, yeah, on the link tree, you can also find my OnlyFans page. Oh, yeah, the most important the link. The most important link. Save the best for last. So it's under the sexy V, and that's V-E-E at the end, uh, not just the letter. Um, but you pay seven fifty for the first month. That will get you in the door. That is half off from my normal price. And you get instant access to everything. So there are no additional paywalls that you need to get through to watch all the juicy videos. Yeah, and there's there's a shit ton of stuff on there. There's MFMs, there's a uh, couple swamps, there's used to you can pay you were pegging me on there. Yeah, there's some girl girl, there's some uh buy mail stuff on there, obviously solo stuff. You get a little bit of everything on there. So yeah. Like a good I, chunk of the stories that we talk about on this, you can actually see it. Yeah, for the most part, yeah. A lot of our, not every encounter, but a lot of our encounters are um, also documented on there. Um, unfortunately, some of the BBC encounters that we've yeah, had, we had, well, all of them, down. Yeah, <laughs> we, we had, had to, take, to them down. take them down because the other people got rid of their page for whatever reason, and you know we can't. Yep. Use it. That's why we gotta sign them releases now. Yeah. So <laughs> now we gotta get total business on them <laughs> instead of just getting down, fucking, and tagging later. Yeah. Right. So, but, uh, um, but yeah, definitely go check that out. I appreciate everyone who's uh, joined. So thank you. I love all of you and love all the support. Yeah, you got your uh, sexy Thanksgiving stuff since yes. we missed last week. We did. So um, I know we mentioned on the last episode we were going to actually, it was we were shooting. Yeah, um, we were shooting that night. Right afterwards. So, and uh, I had a little feather lingerie little outfit going, and that worked out really well. And you got me some brown stockings, which actually looked really awesome with yep, it. Very sexy. So, um, you can yeah. go and check out that. There's many a post on Thanksgiving. Yep. Lots to give thanks for on that day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the sexy V. So, but no, I'm very thankful for all the fans. So, uh, yeah, come join and come say hi. Yeah, very cool because uh, uh, it is the holiday season. So, you'll have some Christmas stuff coming up. Yep. Get some Christmas shoots. Get some, some Christmas shoots. Christmas themes going on. And then we're coming up on New Year's, even. Yeah. So, this New Year's, we are, well, you are child free, kid yep. free. So,. Um, and we've never gone to the Swinger Hotel Party on New Year's. No, that's one of our things we haven't done yeah, yet. Yeah, so I worked it out um, where I believe my son will be gone, so uh, we can go for the weekend and partake in another hotel party. Yeah, it should be super fun. Yeah. I think the, the first night, because it goes Saturday night, Sunday night, so it's a little weird setting up for right, us this year because so like fr- of how Friday, New Year's is. Yeah, instead of like a Friday, yeah, Saturday. Instead of Friday, Saturday, it's Saturday, Sunday. On Saturday for the room call, it's animal print. Yes. So you got to look for something animal printy for you. Yep, looking for some kind of animal print lingerie or sexy little outfit to wear. I still am looking, playing with a few ideas, so we'll see. Yeah. What we will I think I think you've there. been floating the idea upstream of a cow print. <laughs> yeah, I have seen some um, some of the little cow outfits, and I know a lot of the uh, you know people I follow they wear the you know yeah. some like little cow lingerie. So yeah. it's kind of cute. I don't know if I can pull it off. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> you know I myself I prefer leopard print, but that's just my basicness, I guess. But we could we could go cow print. That's different. It's yes. different. Yes. Yeah, because I sent you a couple pictures today. You did, yeah. You <laughs> sent a couple uh, outfits that you saw that were sexy. So, um, yeah, and who knows? I mean, I could get three of them and just change yeah. all night. Yeah, yeah. You don't <laughs> have mean, to stick in one you outfit. You know what I mean? And I know I do have some leopard print lingerie yeah, already. We yeah. just have to uh, pull it out of yeah, I one, think of one of the of your, bins we yeah, have. I think one of the very first items when we got together, you got an animal, you got a leopard print. Little cat suit. Yes, yeah. you are correct. Well, so yeah, we have that, and I know we just bought one. Uh, the shoot that we did at my house more recently, uh, in the one. living room, uh, we had a couple. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, um, that's an animal print. Yeah, that one, and I think there's maybe a couple other ones that we've gotten over the 
the years, but it's always fun to get new stuff. So oh, we'll yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, people don't even care what the fuck you're wearing. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, I give you, a fuck what you I go wear. Up there with, <laughs> with bells on, and they'll be like, "Okay, fucking <laughs> awesome. look at these tits. Look at these tits." Uh, yeah, but uh, it was funny because we got all signed up for that, and then the the group that we go to, they're like, "Guess what, guys? We have a sign up for." Valentine's Day hotel takeover. I'm like, fuck, we just signed up for this one. Right. Yeah, and that's kind of crazy because, yeah, normally we just do the, um, like, October one, and then we would do the one in, typically it's April or March, but I believe the one in February they're going to do for Valentine's Day next year is in place of that, correct? Yeah, yeah. so they're bumping it way down like a month and a half so from we'll have where, like a bunch of them right in a row it will seem like yep. and then, and then we won't have any for dry spell a big old dry <laughs> spell until halloween yeah yeah until yep i think they said after the valentine valentine's day one they're not having another one until the halloween halloween one. yeah so there's a big stretch of no fucking going on so we might have to check out well not necessarily no fucking it's well, just well, no, yeah. hotel no, no hotel parties, parties. <laughs> but uh you know that's not doesn't say that we can't go and try one of the other ones that are around the area. Right. Yeah, I do know that there was one happening this weekend in Chicago where this hotel is like, uh, you know, how they have the atriums hotel. Like the open atrium, yeah. Yeah, where it's seven floors. Okay. That they've taken over wow. and they're they're decking it all out. Yeah, this wow. uh, play champagne party. It's some big party that's like, more towards like Ohio, but they kind of branch out this way every once in a while. Okay. But the shit ton of people signed, and they sold out. Wow. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Never heard of them, but yeah. Yeah. So that sounded pretty interesting. So yeah. So we'll have to probably dabble in checking out other hotel parties yeah, we'll in that see. long stretch. But yeah. So we got signed up for, for Valentine's Day, which will make a good birthday present for me. Yeah. Because my birthday falls around there. Sure, so yeah. And then um, I know you skipped over on Sunday night, though, for New Year's. It's a masquerade theme. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Got to get yeah. dressed in sexy. So, yeah, we'll have to get. Uh, I'm still debating on what to wear. I don't know if I should do like a long, like, ball gown, like with a sexy slit all the way up, you know, so yeah, still you showing wanna, some legs. Or you want to go super slutty. Or do I want to do like, you know, the super short, slutty dress? So. Yeah. Well, I need to I need to know so I can order my vest and stuff to match you, and we gotta get masks. Yeah, and... I've been looking, so I have a few things narrowed down. I guess it's just a matter of me, you know, pulling yep. the trigger. Because the next thing you know, it'll be New Year's. It is, yeah, because we'll need to get those orders. <laughs> we're we're and... about a month away. Because if they don't yeah. work, then we'll have to, you know, find something else. Yeah, so. exactly. So yeah, all these things, man. Yeah, being a swinger. <laughs> and here's the thing: it's like we don't even do. 99.5% of the things, you know what I mean? Like a lot of people are traveling oh, yeah. and, you know, go to all these other events and yeah, uh, travel and to other states and go to cruises. Mexico and cruises. And man, I really wish that I had the opportunity to live that life. But, <laughs> oh, hell yeah, it would be. Know, to, to travel yeah. and fuck. You know, I, I follow a lot of these like creators on like uh, Twitter and stuff right. like that, and it's just like crazy. They're like, "Oh yeah, catching a flight, going down to Florida, going to to California, going to New Orleans, going to uh, right. Ottawa, or wherever something. the fuck they're going." <laughs> and yeah, it's definitely. Um, they're like, "Yeah, I, I got my test done, so I'm gonna fuck thirty people within the seven <laughs> days of this test being done." <laughs> it's like. Like fuck, that's the life to live, man. Yeah, it's uh, you know, I mean, if you can do it, that's awesome. But yeah, I have a kid, so I yeah. mean, I have responsibilities, and I'm not saying that people who have kids can't be doing those things, but I just can't live that lifestyle like that. No. I can't just pack up and go because, unfortunately, I don't have a baby daddy that I can rely on yeah, exactly. to take care of my child when I'm off gallivanting <laughs> the globe, fucking around. I mean, we'll be 60 and that's when we'll be able to go. It's exactly. The, we'll, be, we'll be 60 year olds <laughs> doing all the traveling and fucking and popping blue well, pills well, all over see. the place. My son is, you know, eight. So I've got 10 years. Your daughter's a year older. So, you know, in 10 years, roughly. Yeah. So 
middle fifties. Then we'll be able to live it up. That's yeah. so fucking weird. I was just middle thinking 50s, about that yeah. yesterday. I was like, actually, earlier today, I'm like, holy shit! In ten years, I'm gonna be fucking fifty one. Like, it's fucking weird. Like, holy fuck! Like, I'm fucking old. Yeah, but but you don't look it. You don't look it. Wow. We we get compliments all the time with how how sexy and young you look and. Well, you know, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, so. get that all the time. Uh, but uh, I want to, before we go into our DM slides, I uh, want to remind everyone that we will be doing our interview. We are continuing our string of interviews. This is our third one. Yes. Uh, we will be talking to Mike and Luna yep. uh, at the end of this show. And uh, we will have one more after them on the next episode. Yep. And then we'll be back to uh, talking the about... The regularly scheduled program. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. So, so stay tuned for that interview coming up. But before we get into our DM slides, I want to also talk about this documentary I watched the other day. Oh, yes. And I say documentary with air quotes because it started off as a documentary and then it was like, holy fuck, this wasn't a documentary. This was just a retelling of this documentary that they were making. <laughs> All right. Because right. basically it, it's this, uh, this couple, they're engaged. And uh, they have jobs that take them to different cities. Now, what's you know, this called? It, this documentary is called uh, There's No I in Threesome. Okay. And this is on what? Max, I this believe. This is on uh, HBO Max. Okay. And I know before we had mentioned this now. Um, okay. Go ahead. It's about a fiance or a couple. Yep. And are uh, engaged. they're engaged. And, you know, they're, like, young engaged, like, early 20s. Okay. And they're like, well, we still want to fuck around and have fun, but we're so far away from each other. Because it's a long distance thing. Long distance thing. Let's open up our relationship. Okay. So, initially, when you started talking about this, I was thinking they were looking for a third party for a threesome. But that's not the case. No. They're looking to basically date other yeah, the, people. the title was a little deceiving. Yeah, what okay. It was. So, okay. Makes but, sense. Uh, but so, uh, but watching this documentary, it gave me the feels to where I would never, you know, I'm not gonna yuck on anyone's yum if polyamory is your thing. Yeah. But that's where it kind of led to because she started going out with this guy in her city. Yep. And and uh, she called back to her fiance and it's like, oh, I really like this guy, and she's like, I think it's gonna be more than just sex. Because I am just like getting some feelings for getting him. Getting some feelings for him. And, you know, the fiance is like, okay, you know, that's fine, whatever. And that's fine, whatever. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, that's fucked up. And, and, you know, just watching it, I was like, fuck, I could never just sit there and, and have you go out and just be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna go on a date. bunker down with this guy in this other city for, and then have feelings for him. Right. Yeah, you know, it's just that's it's just not my thing. It might be other people's thing, but I've come to realize that that wouldn't be my thing. <laughs> yeah, no, I I don't think I could do the poly thing. That was something I never, you know, that was not anything that I was interested in personally because I wouldn't want to like share. I mean, and that's different because I watch you fuck other people. And <laughs> yeah, you watch right. Me fuck exactly. Other people, but like it's the emotional like. Yeah, when you bring emotions into it's it, it's different. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not into it. If you're gonna bring emotions into it, I'm not right. Like I'm not trying to find a relationship with these people, like a friendship, okay, and yeah. you know, a, a fuck ship, if that's what you want to call <laughs> yeah, <right>. it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not looking to go on dates with these people. Now, I know a lot of the hot wives. Um, that's kind of their thing. They will go out on dates with other men yeah. and then hook up with them. Um, either, you know, at their house or elsewhere. And most of the ones that I see don't even, the husband's not even there. The husband knows about it, of course. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's just not really our dynamic. No. And, and going back to the, the documentary, it was weird because, like, he would, they would, like, voice chat with each other while she's fucking the dude so did she set up the camera so yeah. he could watch yeah. them fuck? Yeah. All so, the time? Well, I don't know if it was all the okay. time, but like in this instance, the, gotcha. the fiance is watching them fuck and she gets off of the guy and leaves the room. And so 
the fiance is like, so, hey, how's it going? Right. And the, the, the fuck toy is like, dude, I really don't want to fucking talk. <laughs> He's, 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 like, he's like, I just want to lay here and relax after just busting a load in your woman. Right. And I'm like, I'm like holy fuck. And, and, oh, and, wow. and, you know, kind of at that point, I was like, this documentary is full of shit because the dude would have been like, motherfucker, get, you know, get the fuck out of my fiance's well, house. Well, not or necessarily. Some people... Yeah, that's they, their they, thing. Yeah, you they know, get I mean, into just it. think all the people that have poly relationships, they're able to have a relationship with individual people and see those relationships for what they are and what they can bring to the table, but not necessarily get jealous or well, they shouldn't, I would imagine, in a healthy poly relationship. But um, I mean, what do I know? I'm not poly, <laughs> but you know, I would just think that. Um, in order to be poly, you cannot have jealousy no. involved at all because yeah. those feelings, I think, are going to just make things Yeah, but even bad. for the dude to be like, yeah, I don't know. But uh, so I, I was sitting here thinking that maybe this fucking documentary is fake. Well, at the very end of it, the guy's like, yeah, this documentary isn't real. He goes, I hired actors to play my fiance and these other characters. He goes, but this documentary was real. I just reenacted the parts that my fiance broke up because during their filming of this documentary, she actually broke up with him for this dude that she was with. She left him for a dude. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, so I was like, wow, this is a mind fuck right here. You know, that the person that you were like, oh, this dude fucking sucks. was an actor the whole time. But then you're like, holy fuck, this stuff really really happened. Happened, yeah. Because the stuff. That, you know, if the camera was just on him, that was his actual reactions to him talking to his real fiance Those at the like time. Vi- legit videos from their yeah. time together. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. But the, but, you know, where you saw her on the that documentary, was the that was the actress filling in for that part yeah. of the fiance. And it was, it was really trippy. So I would definitely say watch it. Uh, definitely if you're on the, on the fence of, ever want to do poly stuff to be like man maybe this isn't what we well, were. you just have to even know that's a possibility going into it i mean yeah that's a very easy situation to get into you open up the relationship and someone catches feelings i mean that's a you know yeah. happens all the time so yeah so go go check that out it is on uh like max like i said it's called there is no i in threesome all right, you want to get into our DM slides of the week? Sure thing. Um, this was from Reddit, I believe. Yeah. And um, just some random message. He's like, hey, let's do online content. We can accidentally meet up on a chat roulette and you will talk to me and um, I'll start or you'll talk me into fingering my ass for the first time. <laughs> And then you will make me fuck my ass with cucumbers or carrots. <laughs> all right. Uh, I mean, it's, again, all one long <laughs> run on sentence, so it's kind of, you know, <laughs> very big. So, so this guy wants to, because, uh, you know, on Reddit, you know, we have a post out there that says, you know, we're looking for co-stars to do OnlyFans stuff. With. Content creators. Content yeah. creators. But this guy took the shot. He's like, fuck it. You know, I'm not going to be able to make it out to you guys. So let's do like like online stuff like I was just saying where the dude was watching his wife fuck or whatever. Right. And Well, well that's different. Or, you know, yeah. basically you're doing the Vlad the dude. The chatterbait. Yeah, the chatterbait that's thing. What it would be. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm like fuck, dude. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, that went hard quick. <laughs> I'm like, what? You know, you have to have seen some of our content to know that that's not even... He must... That must be his fantasy. You know, and he's just trying to find someone who will be all about it, I guess. I mean, it probably sounds like he fingers an a- fingers his ass and probably fucks it with uh, cucumbers and carrots probably on a regular basis for him to <laughs> say that. <laughs> or he's at least done it a couple times, I'd say. Yeah. All right. Uh, not yucking anyone's yum. I'm asking you, is that something that interests you? Is watching a dude fuck himself in the ass with cucumbers and carrots? 
Not my jam. <laughs> not your jam. No. <laughs> no. No. So, uh, so not going to do it for me. So not, I mean, not, whatever you want to do, but that's just not what I would want to watch if I was trying to get turned on. Yeah. Like if I was, you know, wanted to watch some porn or whatever. Yeah. So. Yeah, so nice try, dude. <laughs> uh, well, my DM slide is from Reddit as well, um, and it's basically coming from that same post uh, of uh, looking for co-stars. All right, so and and this dude hit us up, and you know he's a really good-looking black guy, huge fucking cack. He's got an OnlyFans page. He's verified. You know he's done stuff with other, you know, creators. creators. Okay. And you know he's he's from Madison, which is like an hour from us. Okay. And I'm like, you know, everything's flowing, going good. And I'm like, uh, you know, we're here in this city. And he's like, well, I'm in Madison. I'm like, well, it's not too bad of a distance. I'm like, uh, would you ever be down to travel down here for a shoot? Because mm-hmm. like, we don't travel for single dudes. Yeah. And he's like, I would definitely be down, but I don't have a car because it died like through two weeks ago. I'm like, I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. He goes, so, uh, so you would either have to come here um, after I've already told him, right? We're not going to, or you can pay to have me drive down there. Like, you can I'm, pay to have me drive down, <laughs> like, like pay for an Uber, right? To drive him like from two hundred dollars, probably from I'm, you know Madison to here. I'm like, I'm like, what is up with these guys? You, you, all right. In this lifestyle, you know, the the guys should be fucking lucky to even be invited, <laughs> you know. Yes. And, but yet we've got guys wanting us to pay for them to fly out here. Now, or let now, me ask, are those two guys that have done that, was the other guy a creator, like a verified creator? I don't know if he was verified or not. We didn't Is get this to guy kind of like a big... No, porn no, he's star or no, like no. want to be porn star. Like, is he like no. that's what he's trying to do? Like, like his, his OnlyFans, he had like maybe thirteen likes on it. Oh well, so so he's not like banging new chicks every week like some of these content creators no. that I see that are doing. No, so, okay, you know, he so he's not banging like superstars or nothing. Gotcha. But, you know, so I could see some. See, there's a couple pictures. Oh, he's got a nice cock. Yeah, but... he's got a really nice cock. He's over ten inches. But I'm not gonna dry. I'm not gonna pay an Uber, two hundred dollars to come down here. What if he? What if he sucks? You know, what if he's an asshole? What if you know what I mean? Like, right. <laughs> then you're stuck with them. I'm like, I'm like, dude. I'm like, I, I, I don't get the gall of these guys being like, you need to pay for me because I'm the talent. I'm like, no, bro, you're not the talent. Right. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, they're not tuning in to see you they're tuning in to see her right taking whatever she's gonna get put in her <laughs> <laughs> right like, which are a dime a dozen dudes so come on <laughs> yeah right but yeah that is really funny to me that they would even have the audacity to be like or unless you want to pay me to come you know and fuck your girlfriend like I'm like, yeah, I'm going to pay you $200 to come in here, pump chump two two minutes in, <laughs> and be like, okay, $200, right. send and, me back up. And then you got to sit here for a half hour afterwards waiting for your Uber. <laughs> How <laughs> fucking awkward is that? You can sit on the front porch, dude. <laughs> yeah, all right. But no, that's just not, yeah, not going to work. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, fuck, man. It's been so hard trying to find guys. You know, I could understand if it was like some legitimate like porn star guy who was like had a name for himself and was out there, you know, had a following. Yeah. That would be a little different, you know, if I had to um, you know, pay for an Uber, for example. Yeah, but right. Just some random Joe Schmo that I meet basically, you know, ultimately. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah. Gonna... <laughs> yeah exactly. it's, it's not like we're blowing the doors off of OnlyFans to bring in that kind of money. Oh, God, to, no. To oh, like, my God, be like, no. yeah, I'm going to ship you in for $500 <laughs> to make 20 bucks off of it, you know? Exactly. <laughs> no, if you guys think I'm making bank off my OnlyFans, it's definitely not the case. These yeah. last two months have been really, really yeah, bad. Brutal like, for OnlyFans. Brutal. And it must be for everybody because I know my, you know, the percentage is still kind of, the percentage kind of tells me that, but it's just like, fuck, man. Like, 
Yeah, can get out. Yeah, like what did I do? <laughs> like, did I do something wrong? Like, no. I mean, I continue to do the same thing that I've done. And you have so much fucking content out there that people would have to pay for on other places, and you're giving it for just the the door fee, right? Yeah, so or come back and pay fifteen dollars, and still that's cheaper than meeting me out for fucking drink at the bar. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or something like that. Take me out to dinner. That's fucking yeah. a lot cheaper. And you can, you know, watch whatever your little heart desires. Yeah, we need we need like 500 subscribers so we can ship down this black cock from <laughs> Madison. <laughs> no, definitely not going to happen. But no, I'd love uh, 200 extra subscribers for sure. Yeah, exactly. But, um, yeah, it, it just sounds like he is has kind of like, a, you know, just an ego thing yeah. does he label himself as a dom uh well you don't really see that on yeah that's reddit. not on reddit but i'm sure <laughs> all right guys so that is our dm slides of the week we are going to go into our interview here with mike and luna yeah uh, we have a nice little conversation with them yeah uh just before warren uh mike is a low talker so the the sound you know, I, I'm going to try to bump up the volume on the interview a little bit. Hopefully little that helps. But uh, you definitely have to to listen in a little bit for Mike. Uh, so hopefully you guys in, inter, are entertained by our interview with Mike and Luna. And we're back with another interview from yeah. the JR's Halloween Takeover. This is our third interview of the day. Yeah, absolutely. So I think we got this thing down now. Yeah, we're pros now. <laughs> All right, so guests, you want to introduce yourselves? I am Luna Gray. Right. And I'm Mike. So that's our stage name, lifestyle yeah. name. Yep. Yeah. All you right. You meet us in person, you know the reality. So yeah. Yep. Yes. And, right. and I, I, you guys listen to the podcast? We do. Sometimes, yeah. Right. yeah. You, right. Okay, gonna, great. You were going to start the podcast out the way they always do, sweetie? Huh? Oh, what? yeah. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. There we go. Got, got some titties. Oh, we got titties. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah that's, our, that's our first guest appearance of tits. It sure is. That's fucking awesome. Yep. I always try to throw them off in our intro by yeah. showing off the titties. Yeah, so. very nice. <laughs> we, haven't listened to, we haven't listened to all of them. But yeah, no, there's a lot. There's so a lot out there. Uh, but we have talked about you guys on the podcast. Yeah, in fact, yeah. Was it the New Year's party? Or it was the, the orgy. The orgy yeah, room? Yeah, yeah. Yep. It was last yeah. year sometime. Oh, last spring or maybe. Yeah, I think yeah, it was. Spring, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was the... Um, the, yeah, we shared the bed. Yeah. Oh, the Margie yeah. or the the Margie, the Mardi Gras the Mardi slash. Gras. Yeah. Yeah. It was the Mardi Gras. Yeah. 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 And, and you guys were on the bed right next to us, yep. and yeah, yep. you, know, you could yep. ask if you could touch. So you know, all about consent. consent That's, yeah, is, we were just talking about that earlier. We were talking are about guys, the orgy room again. Are you guys uh-huh. going to the orgy room? Later? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Nice. We've been looking forward to it. Yeah. We, we've known. In fact, we met the hosts a few parties ago. And, okay. Yeah. So we enjoy playing with them. Mm-hmm. Seeing them when they come. Yep, so. they were our first um, interview yeah, that yeah. we did. Yeah, yeah. 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 so, so yeah, definitely. And uh, we talked about uh, you were took part in the wet t shirt contest oh, at the yeah. picnic. <laughs> yep, at the picnic. Yeah. Yep. So, 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 sure did. So I got Thanks, to sir. I got to water down your tits. So yep. yeah, that was always a positive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were. In fact, she she wants to practice for next year. She's. Just, <laughs> getting ready, huh? Oh, yeah. you're going for the crown next yeah, yeah. year, huh? Oh, I you hope. got close. I I know. I yeah. was runner up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. It, it's all about the showmanship. You had the showmanship. Yeah. You got out there and yeah, I got to learn from her. Yeah, <laughs> I told her next time, skin to win. You know, that's, that's true. <laughs> yeah, so skin to getting kicked out of the forest. That's river. true. There are kids that <laughs> could possibly be by. getting a charge for. <laughs> yeah. and I don't see. want to put a bad name on the group either, too. You uh, know, like yeah. if something no. were to happen yeah. like that, and then we would be those people. Right, oh, <laughs> they ruined it. First experience like that too. So you did great. So. Yeah, no, oh, it was thank awesome. you. Oh, this was your first t- what t-shirt contest? Yes. Yeah. Mine oh too, yeah. wow, and to be runner up. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, number one in my books. Oh yeah, oh, of course. You, you had my, you had my vote. You got it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, when when you mix tattoos and titties together, I am fucking all in. I'm all about it. So I, yeah. I dig it. <laughs> thank you. It was my first tattoo. Oh yeah, yeah. The, oh, wow. the the artist that did it said, "If you can get a tattoo here, you You're can good. get one anywhere." <laughs> yeah. And I kept on that. Yeah, so. yeah it goes right with the with the name. 
Luna. Luna. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Very cool. I had the name Luna before the tattoo, so and, and it all yeah. kind of okay. ties together. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. You guys unfortunately didn't get to see the sweet titties, but we yeah. did. Yeah. So. Yeah. We did. Yeah. If only and the, the tattoos to the next right. party. Yeah. Or exactly. Yeah. 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 Person, that's how Likely you yeah. will yeah. see him yeah. again. Yep. <laughs> and, and you guys are listeners to Full Swap Radio. We are, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Nicole and Amanda. Yeah. You guys, a number of their events. Uh, okay, cool. Right? Oh, you got the, the nice. Yeah. 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 You got the, the drink. Yeah. Yep. Wearing her crazy ladies t shirt, actually. So. Oh, 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 okay. Very awesome. Very cool. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We've we, been to a number of their events. And uh, in fact, they were the first lifestyle Facebook group or, and MeWe group that we, oh, that you guys, that we joined. It okay. Our kind of our experiences, we weren't, we met a friend and you know, kind of fooled around, right? You know, had mm-hmm. our first threesome type thing. Okay. And, and then he's like, you guys That was it? not our first threesome. Well, it was our first, <laughs> but it was one of the early ones. So okay. It was the first threesome with him. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we weren't in the air quotes lifestyle well, yeah. at that point. Right. And you were just guy, fucking around. Yeah, yeah just yeah, having fun. Yeah. And this guy said, you guys know there's a whole, like, community. How, there's a like, whole really? subculture. Yeah, so, yeah, they, and, I mean... And he introduced us to the Facebook for, you mentioned their name, Casba, but, uh, yep. yeah. you know, with Cole and Amanda. Yep. And, uh, and we went, we actually traveled as far as Grand Island, Nebraska. And yeah. Wow, two okay. events and then down into their camping event that they do in the summer. Did you go to their winter, uh, what's uh, called? Crazy, crazy winter, winter nights? Nice. Two, mm-hmm. two. Probably won't make it this year. It just they moved it further. Yeah, away. yeah, it's gotcha. two hours further than what it was. Right. Last I, as it is, just to go to Grand Island, it's eight and a half hours, not including stops. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow! So wow. to wow. add another two, hours. so it's a good yeah. day. Yeah, because yeah. we, we were almost going to go last year's. Yeah, it was great. Uh, yeah, I wish you would. But it just yeah. didn't line up for us. Yeah, so. it didn't work out, and I think I had my period that yeah, week. Yeah, so, so you know, it's uh, like, oh, well, yeah. you don't want to go. What and, did you call it? Were you the one that called it Shark Week? Shark, shark week, week, yeah. 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 Shark, shark Week, week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Shark Week. So, you know, we didn't want to pay all that money to go out yeah. there, and then, you know, she can't do anything. So yeah, I can't right. really our, play. So our thing whenever we come to an event like this is we're going to go have fun. We're going to have adult conversation. Right. And if we end up just the two of us at the end of the night, it's still a win. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Know, our first, like, three takeovers that we were at, it was yeah. just me and her, yeah. you know? Yeah. That's, uh, it's been like that for a couple yeah, of parties. Everyone's so, and, but know? everybody we've met. You know, we meet them at an event or a meet and greet. We we don't do the whole internet dating thing. Okay. You know, yeah. So gotcha. Yeah. And we're not on, we're just on Facebook and MeWe. So. Okay. So, yeah, if you see, if you're on MeWe and any of the same groups, it's Mike and Luna, Gray, is so we go that way. But, All right. Uh, if you meet us in person, you, you get to find out a real name. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and then we meet outside. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If, yeah. We, if there's, it's, you know, Cole calls it sport fucking right, and yeah. we're not yeah. into the, we, we want to yeah. make a connection first, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah, like talking to you about your hobbies, you know, yeah. and, and stuff yep. like that, and similar, you know, where we do similar things on the outside, or right. You know, we, we, I would say probably more of our uh, friends are in the lifestyle. You know, and then we have family, you know, because... Oh, I uh, think almost yeah. everyone that we yeah. communicate with Go like that. with the girls or... Yeah, you know, all that. They're all lifestyle or, friends. You know, and otherwise we're doing family stuff. Yeah. So... Yeah, no, that's really yeah. cool. It's nice to get away and, um, you know, if it's it's not a part of our daily life, uh, you know, obviously we have kids, yeah. so it's younger kids, so it's not like, right. you know, something we can live every day, but um, it is nice to come out and just be around people with the same interests and just... One's Be free and have fun. And nobody's just... going to look at you exactly. like you're a freak or a depraved individual. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. everybody you know, the, here. Yeah, jokes are great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you everyone's tell them just. How you feel like you look beautiful, you know? Yeah. 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 You know, just. Uh... Yeah, everyone's just having a great time and just the vibe. And, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So, yeah, whether people play or not, a lot of people think, like, oh, well, I have to play the first time I go. Right. It's like, yeah. you, I mean, there's a wristband for not playing. You know, mm-hmm. like, yeah. a lot of people have wristband systems. Uh, you know, JR's yeah, group I, I does. Yeah. There's, it's a quick, you know, know if you can approach somebody. It makes it that a little bit right. easier. So Yeah. yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. But, but it's all about making a, you know, having a conversation like this. You yeah. Know, and, getting to know somebody and you don't have to buy us dinner and, and will we play at an event the first time we meet you? Yes, if their connection happens. Right. But, but it's not going to be probably 10 minutes in. You know, uh, no, so. I, I understand <laughs> that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we, we've done the whole go out to dinner and it's like, oh man, it's like, jeez. I'm like, yeah. let's just get together and just right. fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go have a drink or whatever. <laughs> and then, you know, usually if it's somebody we've met at a party and they're going to come to and we're going to meet someplace, we know that we're open to it yeah. progressing at that point. Versus yeah. When you meet somebody online and you play the whole game of, 
it's just oh, kind of awkward Chad. sometimes. It takes so much time yeah. and effort and and then, you know, if you meet them out at, you know, and, yeah, there's no, you know, and then there's the whole expectation management, right? So, <laughs> right. You know, she's, you know, you never, not everybody gets access, you know, it's, uh, it's right. Uh, uh, yeah. Not that, it, you know, it's her choice, but, oh, of but course. you don't want to feel obligated. And to, that's the thing, too, yeah. because, you know, just because we are in the lifestyle, it doesn't mean we're going to fuck every single person exactly. who is in the lifestyle as well. Right. right. You, know, so, you know, with this, you know, she's absolutely gorgeous, and you take her to these parties, and it's like, you know, Bringing yeah. bringing a steak to a, a, a hot dog, you know, cookout. Yeah. <laughs> 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 she's, she's prime US. <laughs> yeah, right. but, but no, it's, you know, it's you know, it's a privilege, you know, and she's the most <laughs> that, you know, not a possession, but she's the most valuable. Yeah, you know, I get you. You know, yep. if you're going to share that. You know, you want to. Mm-hmm. At least know a little bit of something about the person. You're yeah, sure. and you want to have yeah. a, that connection too. Yeah. It, it just mm-hmm. makes it more fun, you know. Yeah. So, how long have you guys been in the lifestyle? Just three, three years. years. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah. More newbies. Yeah. You know, I, I say newbies well, because right I've been behind in you, it. Yeah. Been, well, you know, I've been in well, it for over 10 together, plus yeah. years, but uh, together is we're going on four years. Yep. But, you mm-hmm. know, because when we see some people, you, you look at them and it's like, man, you can tell that they're like been swinging for a while. You know, they, mm-hmm. they just have that vibe. Yeah. And you guys definitely have that vibe to where sure. it's like, wow, you know, do you guys, well, did you guys just jump? Full into it. We kind of. I mean, yeah. we kind of did. I mean, we yeah, were we together. Did. I mean, we were within six months, and then. But but I was married to the most vanilla for twenty five plus. Gotcha. Right? Uh, yeah. Divorced and yep. And then she had been married previously, and and then we met, and we just. I mean, she made me feel young again, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we just had a great connection ourselves, and and for us, um, when we play, it's not about necessarily the sex with the other people. I mean, that's. Right? Yeah, we're both pleasers by nature. And we like to watch each other. The connection as you guys being, have, I get you. Yep. You know, while he's over here yeah. and I'm yep. over here, if, locking eyes. Yeah. I just no, yeah. that's, love that's it. Yeah, yeah. So I want the love other it. couple or, or individual to have a great time. And, right. And we're all about being pleasers, but, but you guys still have I your thing going and, on. And then afterwards, that it's for us. It's all about that reconnection. The reclaiming, oh, that reconnection yeah. for sure. Reclaiming is always the best. Oh yeah. Yep. You know, at the end of the weekend, if it's you know, I love watching her, you know, give a blowjob or, or being pleased or yeah. whatever, vice versa. And then it's just getting back together afterwards. Yeah. It's yeah. the amazing part. Yeah. yeah that's, that's always, that's always that's the hottest. Part. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, classified myself more of a watch because I used to be a bold in lifestyle. Okay. So I used to be the watched, but now I'm like on the other end of it to where, you know, I like watching, you know, yep. a mm-hmm. little bit more. Well, it's like even like, uh, you know, we were, we were, you mentioned you have your OnlyFans and yep. stuff and, and do content. Now, we're not creators, but mm-hmm. we definitely, uh, she's an exhibitionist. She's kind of got, when in Rome, I, our first event was going naked camping, right? Okay. Oh. I never, like I said, vanilla all my life. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and so it's all I, new. I was, I was in the service and that's kind of frowned upon, especially what I was doing. And, okay. And yeah. so we went to our first thing and she'd done festivals and things. So it was yeah. nothing for her she mm-hmm. very much, but I was like. When it, you know, I looked around, scanned, you know, and I'm a bigger guy, and everybody, hey, they all look like me. So, right. in Rome, you know, we had yeah. a great yeah. time. He has uh, found it very freeing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would say in this lifestyle is very, you know, we get a lot of, you know, times people write in, they're like, well, I'm a bigger guy, you know, yeah. are you, are we accepted or whatever? And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, all body types it's are accepted in this. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. And all the groups, I mean, you know, we meet the same, you know, we're typical, right? I mean, there's... Small, you know, it doesn't matter. Some groups cater to that even. So it's yeah, just, uh, it's all the lifestyle is all about acceptance. Oh, know? definitely. So, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. There's very few people. We haven't had any really negative experiences that way. Yeah. You know, for, well, so, that's good. Yeah. Have you guys had any negative experiences with <laughs> the lifestyle? No, I mean, can, for the I, most part, I would say so. You know, because we kind of have that, we establish that connection. We don't mm-hmm. just jump in. I'd say we're batting about seven fifty. We had, yeah. we, had, we, had, we, had, we had one experience early, fairly early on, where the couple was really aggressive and oh. was chatting us up beforehand, oh. and we were going to an event, and then we met. Oh, we'll, we'll come over and meet you for dinner. You know, like it's like how do you say it? it's that when you and we were newer. I mean, this was a couple years ago. Okay, and it's like getting that. How do you say no, right? And you got to be right. able to do that in a lifestyle too, because express yourself. It ended up that we had another couple we'd already played with. We ended up having a six them and it worked out great. Awesome. And, you know, so we, we, you know, made lemonade, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, um, 
Yeah, you know, and every once in a while you run across a thirstier guy. You, it's usually the guys, but uh, um, yeah. But we engage, you know, with both singles and couples. No, I was just, okay. just going to ask you that. Yeah, do, you, yeah. is, do you guys prefer yeah. like you know couples or do you we've singles? We've gone all the way around. I yeah. don't know. I our, our only thing is that we're in the same room. Yeah, so, yeah, that's yeah. ours too. Um, yeah, we, we don't have too. to be playing. I mean, I'll, like you said, I'll watch too. Mm-hmm. And so if it's a girls getting together or that's cool i yep. don't have to you know f- so so it's the ideal is you know it's tough to get four people together and everybody oh yeah definitely other, right right so mm-hmm. that's why we pretty much you know stick to single guys for yeah. the most part you know because we've had good experiences that way mm-hmm. um, a lot of, i mean i'd say we've had more or as many couple experiences as we've had single but okay mm-hmm. like one of our friends that uh, we invited for this weekend she was kind of a unicorn for the longest time. Okay. Now she's with a guy, and we met him, and we like him. And cool. So now, they're, now they joined. And yeah. And their first party this weekend. But, oh, uh, how fun. So, yeah, mm-hmm. we've been really, I mean, we haven't had a lot of negative experiences. That's good. Yeah, well, I don't want to talk for you, though. Go ahead. And, well, what? Yeah. As far as if there's, you know, anything that's turned you off of the lifestyle? Oh, boy. Yeah, it's not off the lifestyle, but, uh, you know. Of just a individual a maybe person, like certain yeah. types of people. Sometimes it's just a vibe. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. sometimes they say something that doesn't quite sit with me. Yeah. yeah. And then most of the time, that's it. That's your chance. If I don't done, feel yeah. like that's oh, going to yeah. work, no. Don't right. even yeah. think that it's, you know, it, and usually that's a, a single person. The yeah. single guys, yeah. 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 And it's all about setting boundaries, right? So mm-hmm. before, and you know, you said we're like, it was funny, the very first time we met a couple, or, or I guess it was the second couple we ever really played with, the first one was very much a learning experience for us. Oh, so, okay. Oh, yeah, we, yeah. We, yeah. we had a great time, but we definitely were a notch on their bedpost. We you know, realized oh. afterwards, which is fine. I mean, that's the lifestyle. If that's yeah. what but, they're, uh, yeah, everyone yeah. gets something yeah. different yeah. out of it. But, yeah, but uh, the second couple... They came in and we kind of sat down and we initiated from listening to the podcast, like, you know, the, the Cole and Amanda show. And, yeah. And we just kind of went through the checklist. These are our boundaries. These are our rules. And, right. And they were like, and they've been at it for a long time. Like, We'd have thought you'd been at this for years. But, <laughs> but we're both a little more mature, too. Right. Yeah. You know, deal with right. Mm-hmm. Life and stuff. And yeah. So, um, yes, learning to say no is the. Probably, you it's know, and, and difficult, and not just saying no, but I'm as not in, interested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so, can definitely understand that. Then, some, I mean, no matter how much we say in the lifestyle that you had, you say no, and that's it, right? Yeah. And just be done with yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Be and, done and with should, it. Yeah. And the people right. should know being in a lifestyle that a no means no, and right. then just yep. move on to the next. Yeah. But yeah. always, me codependent, am afraid of hurting someone's feelings. Yeah. Yes. And then trying to find the most sensitive and diplomatic way of saying n- not a chance. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I get a lot of, um, you know, it's a touchy thing with my OnlyFans. Like the guys right. who DM me, they've paid, you know, they've sure. paid, you know, their money to see my stuff. And then they're asking, oh, let's hook up or let's yeah. do this. And I'm like, okay, well, first of all, you can't be talking about this. Otherwise, they will delete my page. Yeah. They do not want any talk about meeting up, hooking up, yeah. anything like that. Mm. So um, so recently, I've just been going off that. But before I really knew those rules, it's like, what do, what do I say? Yeah. Like, I don't want to be completely rude, you know, right. and... And, and, so, and it and, is tough sometimes. And sometimes you just need to be blunt. I mean, we have, right? You know, and you know, and you, you know, there's age. To, you know, it just depends. I mean, right. It's all about maturity for us. If if we're going to play with somebody younger, and and we have no problem playing with somebody older, we're kind of. Mm-hmm. I think we're kind of in the demographic of the life scale. You know, you know, there's the the young young ones. And right. I no. kind of. So I have adult children. So she she doesn't have any herself. But mm-hmm. it's kind of a it's a moving boundary for me. I completely I mean, understand yeah. that. You're older than yes. my kids. Right? Yeah, yeah, I completely yeah. by, by at least a couple two three years hopefully. But, uh, yeah, I have a, I have a twenty year old son, and yes. you know when he's like eighteen year old to. 25, 26, yep. and it's like, no, I'm like, you're about the same age as my son. That's a little fucking yeah. weird. Yeah, and that really weirds me out, too. I, first... I, I'm like, dude, that's like your your friend. Like, yep. no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She, she had a young friend that we played with. Uh, I didn't realize how young he was at the time, but it was oh, a okay. maturity factor, too. Right. So he, he was very mature. That's the thing, too. too so. yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, you know, there's just that kind of, it, it's all about a feeling, right? And so, mm-hmm. and setting your boundaries, because there's certain things like, uh, 
um, you know, the subject of squirting came up a while ago. On, you know, I posted something on one of the groups and I got slammed because I was, they thought I was anti-squirting. Like, oh, jeez. No. <laughs> like, no, we, we, we you know, our, our friends, that, but she doesn't and doesn't want to. Not that we won't play with somebody that does, but that right. we run across there's people like, you know, they give you the challenge accepted line. And that's an immediate turnoff for her because no, we just we just told you a boundary, right? Like we don't want to do that. that yeah, we're, we're not we're asking not you, we're, right? No, we, we literally travel with wet blankets so that you know if we play with somebody that does, that's totally cool. right. Yeah, yeah. But right. It's just not her thing, and right? So don't push that boundary. It, you know? yeah. it just doesn't the the whole you know hands technique yeah. or whatever style it is yeah. does not feel and, good and, to yeah, me. And yeah, then if they it hurts. That and that's their thing. Then they want to uh, they feel know, like, like oh well, gonna, i I'm got gonna, it I'm, I'm gonna be able to like, cheat yeah so i'm gonna like, be the one yeah. yeah dude she has tremendous you know you're gonna have a hard time keeping your dick in her if she has an orgasm yeah and the only other thing and that's not quite negative but um i cannot fit a larger man. Yeah. Oh, me. yeah. Makes there sense. is yeah. too big, there, and yep, too big I completely work. understand that. And I try to, you know, well, say that I'm really sorry, good. but I it hurts. Stop. Right. And yeah. then they still want to try it. Or they feel offended, you know. Like, or their wife says, if I can take it, you can take it. Right. But it's like, you know, every anatomy is different too. So, you know, so, yeah. So if it hurts, it hurts. It doesn't matter if your wife can take it. In the last time we ran into that, that one of the people or that person almost got offended. Yeah. Really? Because I said, I I couldn't do it. Do everything else, you know. Yeah. Yeah. We'll try to get you there, but. Right. like it just hurts me. Just how, accept how, how it. How big are we talking? Uh, Tennis. Yeah. Tennis. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that, that's yeah. a that's a limit you know, for a lot of people. Probably, probably <laughs> eight-ish is your limit. I was, you know, somewhere there. Seven, yeah. You know, Seven, somewhere. I mean, that's just, okay. I, so the way I'm shaped. So yeah. So just so we establish, I'm slightly broken. Yeah. Got to be clear. So she's happy, and then you know, and you're used to me, right? So well, yeah. then, right. You know, you, if if you're dating or you're married to somebody that's larger, that's great, then. You know, it's hot to watch, you know, and she'll, oh, yeah. Or, yeah, that's his thing too. Yeah. An option and yeah. We'll do and we can have lots of fun and socialize. It just There's always other be ways if she can't if that, she's not comfortable with that. Right, if also. it hurts her, yeah. 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 So. yeah there's always other no things kids, to do. You know, that's a good thing too. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. so who approached who about getting into the lifestyle? How did that happen? Well, it was f- when my friend asked about it, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, and so I'm going to tell this story. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, so she had a, you know, a, a friend that she, you know, more of a friends with benefit. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, we had been together and she's like, well, you know, he asked about not only, and so we tried, did the threesome thing. With but, another guy? Yes. Okay. Another guy. So, an, okay. And the other guy had a, uh, wanted to check off a buy experience, right? Okay. And again, former military, never, you know, vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. Right. So... She's like, I think it'd be totally hot. And I was like, <laughs> you know, and we we're never a take one for the team, but so right. I'm like, I'm open minded. I'll we'll try this. Okay. So, um, so we yeah, uh, so everything's going great. Mm-hmm. She was great oral, and you know, mm. and he was aggressive, and, and that's as far as it goes with me. It's just just oral. Yeah. But um, so this was before the uh, legalization of marijuana yeah, in yeah. Illinois. So, uh, okay. So she had somebody coming to maybe get some stuff. Okay. And uh, they're in the midst of giving me a double blowjob and nice. her phone rings. And she's like, <laughs> I got to go for a second. And she takes out the, off the door, leaving this guy sucking my dick. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, then, like, then it felt oh, kind of weird. Hello. Right? <laughs> so did he continue or did you oh, make yeah, him no, stop? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, good. yeah. 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 I wasn't very long. Yeah, yeah, just, well, yeah, no, it doesn't take long at all. So, and then I was like, "All right, let's get back to this." Yeah. yeah. So, so and then, and so, I mean, it ended up being a great. We we saw him several times. Uh, well, that's after, awesome. Mm-hmm. And he came up to our place, and and the one time she's like, "Okay, well, we're getting ready to play." So I'll be right back in the bathroom. And she comes back, and you guys are already going. Already <laughs> <got it. laughs> nice. That's hot. But, no, uh, that's cool. awesome that you're at least open minded enough, and, yeah. and you know, wanting to try it too. Obviously, yeah, that's a big thing. Yep. Especially how in this lifestyle it's very much looked down upon well, the so, bi guy you know, stuff the, yes mm-hmm. you know i love that we we're talking about yeah, the bracelet yeah. thing, so mm-hmm. i'm not wearing a pink bracelet I, you know what but, I, uh, i'm not wearing a pink yeah. bracelet i am i am well i'm 
situationally by. That's where that's however you describe. It. I mean, but not, but not I feel I feel though that even you know as open as it is here, mm-hmm. if I was wearing the pink one, yeah, I would get looks. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I don't, that's I, how I, I feel. It, like, but, should I put a pink one on, and it's like up to you. Like, eh, we'll just go with the green for the weekend, you know? Yeah. Because yeah, you're right. And then yeah. But then I've also had it where we'll we will put it in our intro, you know, for mm-hmm. uh, party intros and stuff. Yep. And, and I've had enough. You do that really? You know? And they were like interested. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. like, yeah, like it's, there's a lot of guys in our situation. Yes. And so while we say the lifestyle is open, and it is. Yes. It's, it's not fully open. There's yet. still yeah. a few there's taboo things, things yeah. that. There yeah, I with, doubt yes. you'll ever see two gay men as a couple going. Yeah. yeah. Right. Do, yeah. Well, like this event, I think, caters more to couples. They limit, I don't even think they allow a single guy. I don't no, think they, they don't do. allow, yeah, single, no. they they allow single, single women, but yeah. not yeah. single guys. So, no. mm-hmm. and, and we've been, it's like, we went to uh, our first true, like, I guess, nationally known club. We went to Secrets down in Kissimmee. Yeah, okay. We, we were on vacation with my elderly parents. And wow. <laughs> at, 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 the, at their condo, and like, oh, we're going to go out for a day. And right. Up going over to spring break time and, and fun. spend an afternoon or all day, you know, at yeah. Secrets. And great time. And But, yeah, it was just kind of that whole openness type thing mm-hmm. and, uh, and being being aware, I guess, of what everybody's doing. Because then mm-hmm. we went back. Yeah. Then, then So then we went back. And there, you know, we were t- I guess where I was going with that is, they lim- they secrets will limit it. It's ten couples before they will let a single guy in. Oh, so, okay. So they establish Man, a range. the number That's thing. Yeah. Yeah. They they know the guy and the guys are charged a little bit more and yeah, uh, they're vetted a little and, more, I think. But yeah. But then there was one night, so then we had a free evening. I'm like, oh, let's go back and check it out. They had um, yeah. Drag show was coming. And oh, okay. Like, hey, let's go check this. They're out. so fun. Yeah. yeah, but um, it ended up that was a night where anybody could get in. No, you know, it was like a five dollar cover. To, okay. And so. Uh, it was it was every stereotype you imagine. We a we, single yeah, guys. We, gotcha. The, the they were the yeah. reason the why the stereotype oh, exists. Yeah. Gotcha. It's like it was, touching without consent. Oh, you know, no. we yeah, you can't do that. They were trying to stand at the window yeah. to a, a room, so and to they will literally and, shove each other yeah. out of the way. Or, or we were playing, and then the oh guys reaching in and, and grabbing and multiple like, hey, times. You ask, you know, yeah, yeah, like if I don't invite we you, said, hey guys, we're done. You know, you we were fine. Wow, you know we're. You know, we just couldn't. Do yeah, if you guys want to watch, well, cool, yeah, but don't just touch the, me. But they're also like twelve inches from when you turned your yeah, head. Yeah, they're, to oh, they're like right there. To back off. They are Jeez. right in there. Like, give me we some space, to, uh, dude. We've been to a campground. That's it's a nude campground, but lifestyle stuff happens. Okay. And there's a place out, and we can talk off air about it. But uh, when you go out into their back area mm-hmm. anything can happen the forest there. Yeah. okay yeah, and the fr- and that was one of our first experiences where we were out there we put a blanket down and, and uh, um the crows i've heard of them they're crows. Oh, okay yeah. 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 we haven't talked about it on the show but we've yeah. talked we've to heard some, about it so yeah john yeah. rosemary was telling us about okay. the crows yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they, they went there this last year we didn't make it with them we, we went once last year but we like that place mm-hmm. um it's fun and what and the after parties are great but so she rolled over on top, and she's like, oh, hey, you know. But they kept their distance, you know. They were yeah. like 12 feet away. That's and, different you know, than, like, yeah. being, like, where right. you could like yeah. touch totally, them. So you know how far apart we are. Mm-hmm. There were guys, like, sitting on the bed where you are, like, and then they'd lean forward to get even closer. And like I said, mm. wow. people reach in and touch. Like, they Whoa. start touching but me. But that was our man. It's, we definitely were not trashing that. The, no. The place, yeah. right. It was yeah, just it was, that, that was, night. That night and with the people know, know that where was you're going and what you're doing. Yeah, we are definitely going to go back to you know check it out when we're back down in the, in the Orlando area. Yeah, definitely want to yeah. check out Secrets. Yeah, it, it was fun. It it's was like a cool a, little place too. They, they did a beautiful job with it. It's a converted uh, hotel motel that um, and they put in beautiful pools and they're like filtered. Uh, I don't know how many times an hour. Yeah, I heard there's crystal, crystal clear water. Pools and you, are like and super you can do clean and. Yeah. 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 So yeah. The other in there in the wow. Pool one time and just, mm-hmm. you know, never you know, just playing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we're part of uh, Swinger Society and they take over down at Secrets for, you know, okay. a few times oh, a year. So, really? Yeah. We're, so looking, definitely. we're going, on, oh. going this spring again and cool. maybe hit it a couple times. We're going a little longer. Oh, how fun. Yeah. So, but no Tuesdays. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Actually, not, not, not on the, yeah. Not the nights where they just let any not, rando in. Yeah. Not <laughs> not in the place, so. yeah. yeah. That was where we were in the hot tub and this guy sitting like, where, you know, 
there's like three people in a room between us. Yeah. And he just starts sliding over, sliding over. Getting a little closer, huh? Just going yeah. down on you. You were sitting on the side of the hot yeah, tub. Yeah, and he's like oh. right there, you know, touching her thigh. Sit- thigh. Like, <laughs> oh, my gosh. I mean, there's no reason for you to... Yeah, there's be no one close. else there's trying no to sit in here. here. Go back to your corner. Yeah. It was just all the bad stereotypes. No. Yeah. But we don't run into too many. I mean, the single if, if you're a single guy and you're going to play with us, it's because you've been respectful and... You know, right, to exactly. Yes. And... Um, and even same with and we'll over. yeah follow our guidelines yeah 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 so yeah our, our rules stay in place yeah mm-hmm. so but yeah. Uh, yeah we always tell everyone to communicate and have rules and boundaries yeah. and figure and all that out afraid, ahead of time not be and, afraid to to talk about it right too. or even stop it too um you know if you're not feeling mm-hmm. it in in the time or you know right. maybe you yeah. change your mind and you don't like it especially for like newbies you know people yeah. who haven't experienced right. it yet mm-hmm. you are not committed to do anything right you know you can you can call a stop at any time. Yeah, any time. Yep. We even learned early on about having a code word. You know, the the one one of the early couples we played with. Yeah, you should have a code word. You know, so if yes. something's, you just say, and then at least you just go back to your partner, reconvene, sort everything out, and mm-hmm. then if you can continue on or yeah, or you know, just say that it's not working for us. So, yeah, no, you should definitely and check happened. in. Yeah, yeah so. that's happened a couple of times. Yeah. Just, you know, it's like every everybody's been very adult about it. You know, well, that's and, good. But I you, mean, you say your rules, you know, like no anal, right? And, right. And, you know, two minutes into play, there's digits getting inserted where they're not oh. supposed to be. And, like, dude, we, dude, <laughs> like, you <laughs> can't respect we that. The job, yeah. The rules, you know, so. Yeah. That's just disrespect there, yeah. you know, at that point. But, uh, Guys, we are coming up at the end of our time here. Yeah, wow. Man, yeah. that, that that flew by. It sure yeah. really did. We're going to have to get together and talk more. You know? Yeah, for oh, sure. Definitely. We'd love to find out more about your own Glee fans' yeah, experience. Yeah, love to talk and, more uh, about it. Definitely. And all that and maybe create some content. Oh, something. yeah. I, yeah. yeah, well, because Miwi's going away. Yeah, so yeah. our fun little oh, yeah. themed I, photo shoots or impromptu. Yeah. It, the few times I am home and he's not... Uh, when he's coming back, those will be the times that I go take a shower with the extra shaving and <laughs> yep. wear an outfit. Home, she's all, decked out. all ready oh, to go. You know, yeah, we're taking a little few pictures. For yep. Yep. Uh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, no complaints there. Yeah. <laughs> no, right, it's guys. a way to come home to. Yeah, but uh, thank you for for taking the time out of oh, the, the party welcome. here and yeah, sitting thank in, you. chatting with us. And uh, yeah, it's a pleasure. We'll catch you we guys. Enjoy, we'll catch you on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. We'll, so. we'll catch you guys <laughs> yeah. at, the, at the orgy room. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Three three thirty. Yeah. For that, so. yeah, no, get ready for that. Cool. Yeah, so. I think the events are fun, and you take like three hours before each thing to get ready <laughs> to get ready, <laughs> yeah, exactly. figure out where you're gonna wear. Yeah, but like last night, we played with someone pretty early, and mm-hmm. then we got up to walk the halls again. And I'm like, I'm just going with JBF makeup, just yeah. been fun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just been fun. Yep. Awesome. At yeah. that point in the night, it doesn't gonna, matter. <laughs> lipsticks like, like this, like, the hair is a mess. Right. No, no. So I, take you in, so. Yeah, no, it, it's good. hot to see someone <laughs> yeah. that walks out right. like that. Well, you know we'll they just had a good time. Oh, yeah. Decks, All right. so. Okay, thank you guys. Yeah, thanks, and we'll... Definitely have you guys on again if we set up again. Sounds good. Great. Thank you. All right. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that interview with Mike and Luna. Uh, I will say, you know, when we were interviewing them, I asked her, you know, what what's too big for her? You know, because she made the comment. She she goes, uh, you know, uh, I've got my limit for guys. And I kind of made the comment during the interview. I'm like, Like, well, well, what's too what's too big? And I found out in the orgy room. I'm too big. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, thanks, uh, Mike and Luna, for, for, for the interview. Uh, hopefully you guys uh, like that interview as well. We got one more to go on the next week's podcast, yep. which will be a super fun one when, when we talk to Katie and John. Yep. Uh, where, for sure. Or you, you banged them. Yes, we had some fun before that uh, <laughs> yeah. podcast interview. For Hell yeah, sure. we did. So yeah. uh, stay tuned for that one. Uh, all right, guys. So where else can you find Bang Bang Pineapple Gang? So you can check us out on FullSwapRadio.com, which is a lifestyle-friendly radio station that plays all kinds of podcasts. Um, they play ours Monday, 7.30 a.m. and Saturday, 10 a.m. Central Time. Check us out on Instagram and TikTok, Bang Bang Pineapple Gang Pod 2.0. Uh, Twitter or X, it's BB Pineapple G. Um, Instagram has 
a link tree for everything we talk about here. So basically go there and you'll find links to the Swinger Society Discord. You'll find a link to uh, Fundy's Fetish Attire on Etsy. Yep. A link for funplacedays.com, uh, which is the Rockford, Illinois Red Room Airbnb. Yep. And you can also find the link for Cassidy.com and your OnlyFans. You know it. Go out there and subscribe. All right, guys. So I'm your host. My name is Jim. And I am the Sexy V. And as always, stay kinky. Stay kinky. Yeah, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs>